What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Movement6 and before we start, you know, it, very much thank you to everybody who subbed last week. Now, I'm really thankful for all the support I received on my previous video talking about backwards compatibility of the PS5 and some of you guys even reached out to me asking if I could be a bit more elaborate on other topics on the next generation of consoles. Now, today I want to get into a topic that... Well, it's something that you see passing by a lot, and it's got to do with resolution. Let's get into it. Now, resolution, guys. It's something, if you're looking at the specifications of both PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, the architecture and the hardware we be getting with the new generation, they are able to push for 8K resolution. The question is, how important is that? And is it something we need to strive for? I myself, I just bought a Samsung uh, Q950R, huge, big ass television, which is an 8K TV. I The reason why I bought it is because of the technology. I like the technology. It upscales movie that has been brought in 4K. It upscales to 8K. And it even upscales to 1080p to 4K. So the image of that is crystal clear. It's a fantastic machine. But the question is, how much do we want to see 8K being pushed on a PS5 or an Xbox Series X? Now, I was reading an article the other day on GamingBolt.com. It's posted by Shupankar Pariot. I hope I pronounced it right. If not, my sincere apologies for that. But he has a very interesting article where he was talking to um, initiatives Francisco Ayesa Garcia um, on this topic. And 8K games on PS5, Xbox Series X will depend on whatever devs want to push for it, says the initiative development team. Now, Microsoft and Sony have both mentioned that their respective next-gen consoles are capable of hitting 8K resolution. But many are not convinced. The skepticism is fair, to be honest, because companies making promises in the build-up to the console launches that they do not live up to its, uh, it as a time-honored tradition in our industry. The PS4, for instance, claimed to be able to hit 4K, but it wasn't until the PS4 Pro that it was finally able to do that. And let's be honest, guys, it's most of the time not even a native 8K resolution the Play PlayStation 4 Pro is bringing. As you know, PlayStation 4 Pro is using a technology called checkerboarding, if you want to add more on that, but it's more that it, it's an upscaling method it uses to reach 8K. It's not native, you know, and sometimes it's not even hitting. It's, it's up in the 2000s if in terms of P. So it's not something that actually is native being brought. The, um, the Xbox One X is native 4K. We just heard that the Xbox One X is being discontinued and just like the Xbox One S Digital Edition. So eventually also Xbox is going to say goodbye to its 4K platform of the current generation. So the question is, how much weight do we need to give the promises of 8K with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X? Now, recently um, they had a long, of Gaming Bolt, they had a long chat about next gen, the state of the industry, and a lot more with Francisco Aiza Garcia. He is a Naughty Dog and Rockstar alumni um, who is now working as a senior gameplay engineer on a mystery project at Microsoft's youngest first party studio called The Initiative. They asked him uh, for a take on the matter of 8K, especially from a developer's perspective, and as per Garcia, whether or not PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X can hit gay play depends entirely on the developers itself. Now, Garcia explained that though both consoles are technically capable of 8K, to hit the target, games might have to make compromises in other areas which is far from unheard in games development. And so whether or not games hit that resolution would depend on how hard the developers are willing to push for it. So the question is, is eventually something has got to give. You, you can't reach 60 frames per second or even higher and still hit the 8K. Something has got to give. 
as per the initiative the dev um, guy it's difficult to say to be honest because like you were talking about the ps4 being able to push 4k it can it's more about whether you want to put your boundaries garcia said if you push really hard on a lot of systems for example pushing to 4k will be difficult at least if you want to do it natively so it's always a question of trade-off how far do you want to go and how much benefit do you actually get from 8k just the looks is just one part of the whole story right garcia added that it's going to be true for the upcoming consoles as well though developers can strive for 8k if they want in doing so will they choose to make compromises in other areas like frame rate for example Garcia hopes that focus should instead shift to higher and more consistent frame rate counts. I'm fully with him. I want a game to look as good as possible. But with the next generation of consoles, from my perspective, we actually need to say goodbye to the 30 frames per second. I think 60 frames per second should be a bare minimum to hit. And if you can do that in 4K, it will be absolutely fantastic. But if you wind up somewhere between 1080p and 4K, with 60 frames or even higher per, uh, per second, that will be um, my preferences from my perspective. My specialty, and that's Garcia, lies on gameplay and AI, not graphics. So I can't tell you from my fact, but I don't. But I do know these consoles are capable. He said. I think from my point of view, it's more about where you want to draw the line. Would you rather push for 8K but scale down other systems, or would you rather? push for those systems but scale down the graphics to 4k it's a lot like frame rate you know i personally feel like most games should strive for 60 frames per second but it's a trade-off which you rather push for 60 frames per second and scale down other things or the other way around it's not news to anyone right that in the months leading up to the releases of new consoles hardware manufacturers go a bit wild with the promises and though they may be true on paper we don't effectively see them being made good on until a few years into the console's life so from my perspective i do see a native 8k being hit maybe with a 60 frames per second after two or three years but that's when a playstation 5 pro or an xbox Series x pro or how Ever they're gonna call that machine which is always a big question with them but then we will have an upgraded version of the consoles being released end of this year so 8k might be sure be an interesting prospect but with 4k not even being industry-wide standard right now it's pretty hard to imagine 8k becoming too widespread in the immediate future like Garcia said we hope developers make use of the added power effort to them buy better hardware to focus on performances instead of resolution. And that is exactly what I saw with, with, with frames per second. I'd rather see a console hitting a minimum of 60 frames per second, maybe even push a bit up to 120, than being so fully focused on 8K. I have an 8K television, but the amount of 8K stuff being natively offered as an 8K is slim to none. There is absolutely nothing out there, maybe on a few YouTube videos, or I've got a USB stick with some natively 8K and it looks absolutely fantastic. But in terms of gaming, you do need to sacrifice a lot. Xbox Phil Spencer has said that's what Microsoft wants to do with the Xbox Series X. We're already seeing hints of that in some early next-gen games, Dirt 5 will feature a 120 frames per second mode uh, on both PS5 and Xbox Series X, while Gears of 5, Gears 5 is targeting 120 frames per second in the multiplayer on Xbox Series X. Meanwhile, Gran Turismo producer Konshuri Yamachi has spoken in the recent past about wanting to target 120 frames per second or even 240 frames per second. Among many other points of discussion throughout our chat, Garcia also spoke to us about whether or not the raw power of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X would make much of an impact on games on its own. And that's it, guys. I, I think you now see the discussion being settled that 8K will not be able to be hit later in the, in, in the cycle of the next generation with an upgraded PS5, with an upgraded Xbox Series X, and that we for now have to, well, settle for 4K. I think that's a fantastic resolution to watch games on, 
but that the target will be 60, 120, or even 240 frames per second. Just imagine what that would do for your online gaming, for your multiplayers. Frames per second is key in any game, multiplayer-wise, even online. But also if you just want to race on your own in a racing game, like Dirt 5, for example. For me, frame rates is key above resolution, guys. So this is the article I just want to share with you guys. I'm really keen on understanding what you're looking for. Is it 8K? Is it 4K? What does resolution mean for you? For me, it's resolution, uh, it's resolution second and frames per second is the number one if it comes to the next generation of consoles. I am going off for a few days on holiday. Uh, I will be with you next week with some new videos on the next generation of consoles. And finally, some gameplay with Rainbow Six Siege and Warzone, guys. Have a good one. Speak to you as soon as possible.